So. All right, we're here with Into Mobile. We're here with Logitech. We're actually here with Rajit from Logitech. Hey, Rajit. Uh, he's a project manager of the Logitech Review, the Google TV box from Logitech. Um, we're just going to take a quick little look, uh, a little demo of where Logitech uh, is with uh, Google TV right now and what uh, we can expect in the near future. Let me show you something. So you got the keyboard there. That's part of the that's uh, the Logitech keyboard that works with the review. Yeah, and we'll okay. talk about this in a second as well. Okay. So. It all starts with a simple experience search. And this search is really, really powerful. Now, how is that connecting? Is that RF or IR? Uh, the keyboard? Uh huh, the keyboard. The keyboard is connecting via Logitech technology called Unify. It's a modified form of RF. Okay. So, you know, I don't need to, I don't need to point it. You don't need to point it, right? It, it, just, it just works. It works across cabinets and stuff like that. So, you can quickly see that I'm getting results from the TV. I'm getting results from the internet. And I can also get results from applications that I've installed in the system, mm -hmm. which might have content related top here. Like maybe YouTube or something like that. Absolutely. So let's say, you know, I go directly to, so we, you just mentioned YouTube, right? Let's go back to the same search result. I could also select the result from the internet. I can go to cnr.com. Imagine an experience which sort of starts from here, brings web access, TV access, and app access to your TV, but builds on that. So let's go back to live TV for a second. So I'm watching my live TV. And so how are you switching between those? Between live TV and, yeah. and the web? I just push one button for live TV. Oh, I see. And so all the shortcuts are on that keyboard. Exactly. So internet searches, mouse, cursor, all that stuff? Absolutely. So I press the button for live TV. Press my fit button. Oh, there we go. It's I've a little... got my TV content uh -huh. right here coming from my broadcast TV source. It could be my DVR recording. How did you years. do that? Is there a PIP button in there? Yeah. So there's a PIP button, uh -huh. which we call dual view. Okay. And so I've got my TV playing here and got some of my news content there as well. So, you know, I'm a news geek, so I'm, I'm doing uh, TV here and news here. Mm -hmm. But think about other experiences that you could do. You could be watching a live game, and you could be doing sports plus stats, or you could be updating your fantasy league by watching the game. Mm -hmm. So all of these experiences haven't existed before. Is that over uh, IR or? This is over IR. Okay. So the box itself can receive Wi-Fi, it can receive IR, it can receive uh, a, a modified form of RF. But it connects to your cable box via IR. It connects to your cable box via IR. If you have a dish box, uh, it can also connect directly over the network. Uh -huh. so dish boxes can connect over the network. So we've seen sort of the seamlessness and we've seen sort of, uh, you know, an experience, the plumbing sort of, which makes as seamless as possible. Let's talk about this controller for a second, which is where we started. So if you look at this controller, it combines a familiar sort of keyboard. It has a touchpad. It has a D-pad, so if you go to the home screen, you can see that you know, I can navigate the home screen using uh -huh. the action pad, I can move my cursor. It also has device controls. So in order to have sort of a lean back, enjoyable experience where I'm enjoying all of this content, I need to be able to do things like increase my volume. So let's go back to live TV for a second. The anger is so you see, just I'm controlling the audio video receiver. And at a certain point, in which order is to my volume off, you have to transcend it. And it's I can also control my set-top box. So if I want to switch channels and go to a different channel, I can do that. I can also control the web because of the touchpad and, and the navigation control. And I can also control my TV. So I can turn it off and on or do other things with my TV. So all of this, all of this control is necessary in order to have a seamless TV watching experience. That's why we built a Harmony Link functionality into Logitech TV. So we, we're, we've seen the Google TV experience and how that integrates TV and the web seamlessly on the one screen, the one big screen right here. So uh, where exactly does Logitech and the Logitech review box come into play in that, in that ecosystem? Yeah. So I would say it's three categories. Uh -huh. So firstly, in order to bring your Google TV to your existing AV stack so, so that you don't need to replace your TV, your set-top box, or your AV receiver. 
you need a box that can interoperate and control your existing devices. And that's where Velocity Review comes in with this Harmony Link technology. So is this, this right here is the, uh, no, which one here is the review? This is the review. I see, okay. So this is the review right here. Yeah. Secondly, in addition to uh, being able to, you know, work with the existing stack and sort of take Google TV as an engine almost to your living room, what you really want to be able to do is control all these devices in sort of seamless ways. And so a Harmony Link technology allows you to do that. And the third thing is we've created experiences around uh, Google TV. And we can go through those experiences in a second as well. So we've had, you know, decades of experience in creating consumer experiences around uh, living room devices and the mini controller. We've also created applications that you can download onto your smartphone. Whether it's an Apple iPhone or iPad or whether it's a Google Android phone. So what I'm holding here in my hand is a Google Android phone. So you can see, uh, I don't know where this is paired, it is. So you can see I have the same controls. I have the D-pad. So you're controlling Google TV, the Logitech review box from the Sprint HTC Evo 4G. Exactly. Excellent. So this and this would work across any Android phone. Right. As long as you have an Android phone, you can control Google TV. And as long as you have an Apple iPhone, it, you can control Google TV. Oh well. wow! Okay, great. And these are free apps that you can download from these marketplaces, as long as you have a Logitech review. So. So tell uh, me, how is the app communicating with uh, Google TV? Is it over Wi-Fi? Yes. Okay. So this is paired over Wi-Fi. So this is on your home network, so you can directly control, use this as a controller. Mm -hmm. Now, since this is a smartphone, so we can do all of the things we can do using that controller with this as well. But since it's a smartphone, it has a touch screen, we can now start to do even more cool things. So I can go into gesture mode. And so earlier I was using a D-pad, but now I can use gestures to move across the interface. So if you see there. So just flicking almost, your finger across there is moving the, uh, is moving the uh, it's like a D-pad. Yeah, except that it's not really a D-pad because in a D-pad you have to look at the screen and uh -huh. press the button. But here I'm just using gestures. That's moving the screen. Great. So that's an experience that doesn't exist today. We sort of brought it to the system. And then there's other additional things that you can do. So I'm just going to... So for example, now, since this has a microphone, you can start doing voice searches. You don't need to type text in anymore. So let me try doing this. The price is right. Oh, wow. So you can see that immediately your yeah, we'll voice... There we the LOL in there. <laughs> yeah. We probably have some ambient noise here and some echoes as well. But you know, the idea is you're, you're able to do a voice search directly now without typing. So your Google TV experience, which was driven by typing, has become even more seamless now. Mm -hmm. Uh, so let's think about this for a second, right? So you've got your Google TV, you've got the Harmony link embedded within it. Uh, have you, do you, do you guys understand uh, or own a Harmony remote or have yeah. a background behind it? Yeah, I have one of the cheaper ones, but yeah. Perfect. So if you, if you, uh, if you use an, a Harmony user, you know the concept of activities, right? Mm -hmm. With one button press, you can actually activate do the entire things, system, yeah. Activate the entire system. We've embedded the same Harmony control functionality and that's accessible through this app as well. So for example, I can do a watch Google TV activity and I can turn my devices off. So I press one button. Oh yeah, and the, there goes TV and the actual the AV system turned off as well. Exactly. Excellent. And that's all controlled over Wi-Fi going through the Logitech review box, which, which controls entire, your entire system over uh, the Harmony link. Yes. Uh -huh. So you can see that this is a completely seamless experience. This is sort of a Harmony remote control, right? Which is, which, is, which is okay, which is cool. We've already done that though. Let's think about a different way to think about this experience. So all of us have smartphones these days and we start viewing videos on smartphones. So I'm gonna view this Charlie bit my finger video. I see this video too many times. Mm -hmm. Two kids playing around. So you got this video playing on my smartphone now, but it wouldn't be cool if I could get this video on this display uh -huh. and the sound through this receiver? Well, guess what? You can do exactly that. So I'm going to press one button, press share with my Harmony remote. 
Oops, hang on, I pressed the wrong button here. All of these tiny buttons. Give me one second here. So I've got this. I'm gonna share it with my Harmony remote in a second here. Yep, there we go. And you can also, see. Also, it automatically is gonna start turning everything on. And bring up your video. Now that is cool. That is cool. It remembered the state of my devices. It remembered that my TV is off. It remembered that my AV receiver is off. Turned them on. Brought my video to life. Brought my controller up so I can start controlling it. Oh, so turned, uh, it changed your phone from video viewing mode into a controller mode. Exactly. And there we go. You watch the video. That is cool. And that's an unprecedented experience. That's an experience that doesn't exist today. So the power of an open platform. I, I can't get enough of this video. <laughs> so the Logitech Media Player, I don't know if it's, if it's actually installed here. So the Logitech Media Player basically uh, allows you to access your photos, your music, and your videos through attached USB or over home network. So right now I don't have any network computers here, but if I have any, I mm -hmm. would be able to sh share photos. I would be able to click into and tune to music, photos, and videos. Now a lot of people today access all of this content directly. But what makes it really cool is because you can get Google search and you can now expose all of this content directly to search. So if, I, if you're looking for a photograph that you took, you know, partying, let's say, a couple of months back, and you know the date of that photograph, you can type it into search and directly tune to that photograph. So okay, yeah. great. So that's uh, Logitech, a little demo of the uh, Logitech uh, review box, the Google TV box for uh, that, you know, integrates with your TV here and brings you the seamless Google TV experience. Um, taking a look at the Android app, which turns your Android phone into a smartphone. We've got the Logitech review box up there, which integrates with your home AV system and your uh, set-top box and your, uh, your uh, home theater system, as well as the Slimline keyboard that works with your Logitech review box. Great. Thank you. Sure. Pleasure.